Welcome to Virtual Sewing Week 2. Today we are going to finish our pellet case. You can start by ironing out your project so that it's ready to start sewing. This is going to be a very simple week. There's only, we're only going to sew two seams and then we're finished, but it'll give you plenty of time to make more pellet cases. Okay, now that we've pressed our fabric, we should have our body with our cuff that we completed last week all pressed out and ready to start sewing. So right now I'm looking at the right side of my fabric and I know this because with my fabric it's a little hard to tell but this side looks a little bit greener than this side does so I'm going to say that this is my right side but if you have a print fabric you want that fabric facing you now. So then we are going to take both our bottom corners and put the fabric right sides together. So we want our right side on the inside. And we're gonna fold it and then lay it down. You should now have a piece that kind of resembles a pellet case. So it has a bottom, its side is not sewn, and then it should have a fold on the one side. Fold it out. All right, so now you're just gonna need some straight pins. I like to turn my fabric so that I can see what I'm working with. So you're first, you're going to look where we started to sew the cuff. You should see the cuff seams on both sides and we wanna line those seams up with each other and place a pin. Okay. And we don't need to do anything on this side because it's a folded edge, so we're good. So now we're gonna take pins and we're going to go all the way down to this corner. You can space them out, pin as much as you want. You wanna make sure that both edges line up and put your pin all the way to this corner. Okay, now you should have this edge completely pinned. So I'm going to turn my fabric and I'm gonna focus on the bottom edge. So we're just going to continue to take pins and pin all the way to the folded edge. Okay, so now we should have our right edge pinned and our bottom pinned and ready to start sewing. So again, this week we're gonna be using a 5 8 seam allowance and I'm going to show you that now. Okay, now that we're at the machine, you need a refresher. Watch last week's video on when I showed you how to find the 5 a seam allowance. I'm going to stick my blue tape on my 5 a mark again because it is, the I think, at least the easiest way to follow along with straight seams. Okay, so now that we're sitting at the machine, we're going to match our fabric up to the edge of the blue tape if you decided you're gonna use that. If not, you're gonna do your, your guide that is already on your stitch plate. I'm gonna put my needle down at the top of my right edge of my fabric. Again, you're gonna to wanna to hold the fabric in your lap so that it doesn't tug on the machine. I am going to stitch the side and bottom of my pillow case using a straight stitch. You can see on my machine I have my straight stitch selected. You can also use a zigzag stitch to stitch your pellet case because it holds up nicely in the wash or if you have a serger they can also be they're really quick and easy to be surged. But today I'm going to show you just using a standard straight stitch because everybody's machine can use a straight stitch. Okay we want to make sure that we back stitch when we start to stitch to lock in our stitches. Now we just wanna follow all the way down our blue tape, pulling out our pins as we go along. I also wanna mention before I keep going that it's important to start where at the edge where your cuff is and not start at the bottom because we wanna make sure that the cuff pieces line up so that they're not uneven. If we start at the bottom, it's gonna push the fabric towards the cuff and it could make it uneven when, when you're finished.
make sure all your edges stay together. Mine's spraying a little bit. When you get to the corner, you're going to want to stop a little bit away from the corner. Keep your needle down. You're going to lift up your presser foot and turn the fabric and put your presser foot back down. That's called pivoting. And you want to do it every time that you have a coin. When I get to the end, I'm going to back stitch to reinforce my stitches and cut off my thread. You now have your side seam sewn with a 5 8 seam allowance and your bottom also sewn with a 5 8 seam allowance. You're going to reach in and pull your pillowcase right side out. Shake it. You can take a chopstick and go in and poke the corners. Okay, your pillow case is complete. They fit any standard pillow. They actually are pretty big, so they'll fit bigger pillows. Um, before you put it on a pillow, I suggest ironing it, ironing it out, making sure all the seams are even, and then you're complete. Okay, great job if you got to this point. Next week, we're gonna be working on a table topper. Thanks for watching, I'll see you then.